According to Governor Sani, 80% to 85% of the people who are living in the Northwest are living below the poverty line. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we we'll post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. He highlights the importance of improved performance and effective government in raising living standard based on his prior role as the chairman of the committee on banking. He presented alarming data showing that almost 75% of Northwest adults lack access to financial services. He noted that despite his effort to communicate these figures, the gravity of the financial exclusion issue was not adequately acknowledged. He stressed the severity of the situation, underscoring the necessity of addressing poverty and educational challenges to pave the way for meaningful progress and fight against insecurity in the region. He pointed out that a significant majority of out-of-school children in Nigeria hail from the northwestern part of the country. He said in an interview with TVC, if you don't tackle the problem of poverty and hopelessness in some northern part of Nigeria, particularly in the Northwest, we'll be spending a lot of time, a lot of time talking about insecurity. I can tell you this point blank, 80 to 85% of the people that live in the Northwest are living below the poverty line. That is the level of poverty there. And they can only change if you have good governance. People have to step up their performance as a better chairman of the committee of banking, the statistics are there. Okay. And that okay, I can tell the point black like eighty to eighty five percent of the people that live in Northwest are living below the poverty line. This is the level of poverty there. And that can only change if we have good governance. People have to step up their performance. As a former chairman of a committee of banking, the statistics are there. And I kept telling people, but nobody wanted to listen. About 75% of these that live in the Northwest, particularly the adult age, they are completely financially excluded. People thought it was an academic statement. It is something that is very serious. If you don't attack poverty and handle the issue of education, we won't go anywhere. Right now, if you look at the statistics of out-of-school children in Nigeria, the majority are from the northwestern part of the country. Where well, the thing is whose fault, and if I tell you people, it is actually the same northwestern people that it is actually the same north western people. Uh, what's it called? That um. How am I going to do it? It is actually the same Northwestern people that can, that have been in power. That's what I'm trying to say. These are the same people that have been in power for a very long time. You get, they have been in power for a very, very, very long time. So if you check it very well, you will find out that it is the people of the Northwest. Buhari that just left that seat, he is from the Northwest. Um, who again, after Buhari was who? I know they had Obasanjo, after Obasanjo, they had Yaradwa, after Yaradwa, they had um, Jonathan Oki. The thing is, it is the Northwest. It is still the same Northwest. If you are coming out to come outside and shout, hey, in the Northwest, oh, they are living to 80 or 85%, they are living with who's fault? It is their governors. If you ask me, who will I ask? It is their governors. So coming out to say, eh, these people know, it, talk to their governors. Talk to their traditional rulers. Talk to the people who are close to these people. The only thing these people are good at is in number one, brainwashing them. Or should I call it guys? No, it's not gaslighting. Gaslighting, you will know something to tell you you don't know. This one, brainwashing is, they will make sure you don't know that thing. They will bring whites that you have not seen before and tell you that this white is black and you are going to believe it. That is brainwashing. They will tell you, in fact, 
But what she said, but it has to do with you know, they would just tell you, they would play on their ignorance, is the right word. So, my own is all this one, this uh, man is saying, it is action, moving to action. That is why you are there. Do you understand? That is why you are there. Move into what? Action. Move into action, as in come outside and do something for the people. The Northwesterners, the Northerners in general, they have this attitude of, uh, what's it called? Anything they tell their people does. It is because these people, they have taught these people to be educationally, how do I put it now? To don't, not to have a mind, an open mind. They have closed these people's mind. Do you understand? They have closed their mind in the sense that, and they have taught them it is only life is only one way. And life is not one way. So, guys, you can see, thank God that this man is coming out and... Thank God he's coming out now. Do you understand? And he's seeing that uh, he has work to do. So, instead of coming out, let him get to work. Oh. Let him get to work. And you people are condoning terrorism in the north. Farmers have been sacked from their farm. Yes, so, even the ones that are even not... Even the ones that are not corrupt. People that are even trying to even fend for themselves. They're not allowed to fend for themselves. They're using security. They pursue those ones up and down. They're asking whose fault is it? Is it not the same? Yes. The not only lights. The not only leaders. They are the ones at fault here. Empty cries. Former President Buhari Yaradwa Abdul Salam Abba Chabarangida and Shagari. We are all from it. You don't see them. This person doesn't even give me a rundown. Are all from the Northwest. You are in the North. You in the Northwest. The liberty will recognize poverty. God will bless you. I've been looking for this statement. I've been trying to bring it out from my brain. They weaponized poverty in such a way that, you know, when you weaponize poverty, anything the person brings, you'll be even thanking the person. But if you give the simple education, make them to know life is not like this. You cannot continue to live, so live off somebody. You understand? You self try to hustle for your own. You can do it. No, they don't want these people to hustle for their own. They want to make these people feel always that they are the Lord and personal savior of these people. And that is why these people are under them. I've said it before. They did not Westerners, not Easterners, not Central. They did all of them will come to the realization that the Southerners are not the weapon fashioned against them. <laughs> that they are the weapon fashioned against them. They are nothing elite. They are traditional rulers and they are religious rulers. Mm -hmm. Sincerely, we will just have done talk and we will be here. We know how those people anger they be. The anger, they be, as in their mind, they fall back. We go just hear the hear scores. We will hear all the scores. So if you are coming out to talk about these things, thank God he knows that means he should get to work. Hmm? He should get to work and the issue of brainwashing these people should end. I tell you now them currently okay, I tell you now them you currently mention. So these leaders from the north really deal with Nigerians. Some of them because they are alive, this only monies cannot be recovered. And they tell you it's time of development. Northwest region is worst of all the region. Alright, on this note you have come to the end of the news. So thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.